Scientists say they are one step closer to harnessing the energy of the sun and the stars in order to power our world. A breakthrough in the science of nuclear fusion could change how we produce electricity and fuel. News on 6's Amy Slanchik talked to a University of Tulsa physics professor about what this could mean for Oklahoma. Scientists say it will probably be decades before we use this energy in everyday life. The chair of TU's physics department says while this is an important step, it's still a small one. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm says for the first time in the world, scientists working in a lab created more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. It's a moment in science that took decades to reach. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. But University of Tulsa professor and physics department chair Dr. Scott Holmstrom says it's important to note that did not include all of the energy that was used to run the lasers to make the moment possible. They're just comparing it to the amount of laser light. So it, it took many hundreds of times more energy to power those lasers and to get everything set up so but so that's why it's sort of it's it, it is a step okay but it's not this amazing unbelievable we're there kind of step it is a, a necessary and important step in this journey dr holmstrom compares this breakthrough to the discovery of the lithium-ion battery and that was in 85 now fast forward many many uh, several decades later and now we can buy electric cars as a result. The federal government says if fusion energy is advanced, it could eventually be used to produce clean electricity and fuel. Dr. Holmstrom says that could relieve some pressure on one of Oklahoma's key industries. There's a lot of pressure on, on the petroleum industry to transition. Uh, so I think this, this having multiple routes uh, towards relieving ourselves from de being dependent on fossil fuels is, is an important one. In Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.